everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and these are our 2021 readings by sign. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Please remember that I do have courses over at Gumroad, and I always leave all that information in the description box below. So what I'm doing here is I, even though I'm not an astrologer, I'm just using the signs to break down into smaller uh, groups of people so that I can read and uh, we will see what is coming up for you in 2021. Let's get started. Hello Virgo. So for you for 2021, we're going to start off with a little bit of just a general message and then I'll get onto the cards here. But for you, you are learning to take a break, to relax, to indulge. <laughs> Uh, it has this feeling of, you know what, y'all can manage on your own. I'm going to go lie on the beach somewhere. Like it, it does have this sense of, I'm going to learn to take care of myself a little bit better and to really embrace, I want to call it like stress relief, but I mean, <laughs> it can have a lot of different ways that it plays out. But this, um, we'll have to see if travel is even possible here in 2021. I don't know. I think so. I think it's going to start getting back to normal, but we'll see if I'm wrong about that. But this has this feeling of getting away. I want to, I want to go have a getaway, making more time for fun, more time for relaxation. Uh, and you will see it as being self-indulgent most likely, but what this is doing is it's prepping you for a whole new cycle. So if you feel, some of you, it might express as fatigue irritability, of course, check with the doctor if anything like that is going on. But your your whole being is saying it's time for a rest. Give it a rest. Wind the machine down, okay? <laughs> Wind it down. And this also has this lovely feeling of like embracing life and saying, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it right this time. You know, not not trying to like put pressure to do it right, but like I'm just gonna take what feels right is what I'm trying to say. And that might mean taking a day off from work or uh, I'm hearing sabbatical. So some of you might take a sabbatical. Uh, learning new tools to release some of the old stuff. And this is a common thing for a lot of people as well. But for you, you're making the most of life. I, I think some of you will choose to try to make the most of life. Uh, and that making the most of life, I think for some of you will entail you know, going on an adventure if we're in a place where we can do that or trying something new. Uh, it doesn't have to be like a super crazy change. It's just um, giving yourself a chance to explore. I think in, in general here, it's learning to embrace the pleasures of life, uh, allowing yourself to take a more leisurely approach. That's why I say it's so like Taurian. It has this, <laughs> it, it's like you're exploring that kind of energy where you're like, I want to find the beauty in life. I want to find um, the pleasures. And uh, this might find you just doing whatever, like, you know, trying new food, or maybe you um, change how you present. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but definitely allowing yourself to put kind of your face to the sun and just soak it up and say, I deserve this. Now this might, <laughs> I know people tune into these readings because they're like, is there something bad going to happen? Or am I going to change my career? Or am I going to blah? You know, there's something beautiful about embracing the beauty. <laughs> and that's really what you guys are doing, I think, this year. And it comes uh, on the heels of having a lot of turmoil in your life and having a lot of change and an upset and just not feeling good within your own skin, maybe some of you, you know, all of this. And so this is your chance to rest, recuperate, all of that, and just enjoy the pleasures of life. Okay, let's see what your cards are. One more shuffle, I think we'll do it. There we go. So your first card 
is have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. You know what this makes me feel like? It's okay for you to enjoy your life. Your dreams will always be there. If your dreams are meant for you, they will keep. Okay. <laughs> so there's no pushing. There's none of this. And I don't think people are going to be too much in general, be in the mood for pushing. Some people react that way where they're like, I'm scared. I need a plan. And I get that. That's survival mode popping in there. But this is saying, you know, your dreams and your imagination will flourish the more you let go and allow yourself to experience joy. So there you go. What does joy look like for you? And can, can you give yourself that chance to experience it? Okay. Take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. You have been through so much stress. For some of you, there's been loss that it is time to exhale. It's time, give your heart a break, man. I mean, you've been through it. Everybody's been through it. But for you, your processor got stuck, okay? Your processor just like maybe froze for some of you or you've been afraid to get out and experience life because life can prove to be dangerous. I don't know what's gonna be going on in the world, okay? Not exactly, but if it's safe, Get out there, get out there, feel the sun on your face, know that your dreams will keep, breathe, <laughs> okay, give yourself a break, you really need to give yourselves a break, nothing will come of this situation if you don't give yourself a break, that's how this is fitting in with your message, void of course, moon, so if, if some of you are just not heeding this message or you think it's a dumb message, Listen, you could try it your way. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what happens. If you keep pushing, nothing will come of it. As a matter of fact, some of you are pushing on things that will no longer have a place in this world. Okay? They'll no longer have a place in this world because things are changing so rapidly. So I think some of you, it's going to take a couple of like, okay, I'm going to do this and then it gets blocked. Or, okay, now I'm going to do this and then it gets blocked. It's going to take several of those for some of you to go, you know what? Life. Okay. You want me to just let go? I'll let go. <laughs> right? And that's what gets you to sort of back up and unplug. Don't let the past hold you back. Excuse me. Don't let your past hold you back. South node. Leave the old stuff behind. It's time for a fresh start. It is time for a new approach. <sighs> The more you try to hang on to the old way of things, the more you're going to suffer. We've been saying that for a long time. So please make sure that you're not just hanging on to old worries and old stress because it helps you feel in control. That's where a lot of that comes from. So your color card is blue. Activate your healing power. The number is 37. So it is time to be done connecting to that higher consciousness and actually experiencing joy helps you connect into that higher consciousness or the expanded consciousness, however you want to see it. But you will heal by allowing yourself to experience the joy. Don't feel guilty for wanting to live your life. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.